Hey, welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in simplest possible way. In our previous videos, we have solved so many pattern printing problems. In this video, we will be solving this particular pattern printing problem using for loop, string concatenation and also using string multiplication. If you don't know about string concatenation and string multiplication, you can watch my video about pattern printing one where I have explained clearly about string concatenation and string multiplication. So in this video, let us go ahead and see how we can print this particular pattern printing. So if you carefully observe here, here we have two different kind of patterns. From this to the top, we have one pattern and from this row to down, we have another pattern. So if we can write the code for this above pattern and for below pattern by combining both of these, we can actually generate this whole pattern. So having said that, let us go ahead and see how we can solve this. So first I will write logic to generate this above pattern. So for that, I will take a variable rows to get how many number of rows of this pattern we want. So initially I will take the rows as five. Later, we will dynamically take the input of rows from the user. So now what I will be doing is that I will take a for loop and generate a range of values for I in range. I wanted to generate a range of values from 1 to 5 because it was incrementing of stars from 1 to 5 until this pattern, until this row. So for that, I will start with 1. I will go up to rows plus 1. By mentioning this rows plus 1, I can able to go up to 5 value. So for that reason, I have mentioned rows plus 1. So in the for loop, what I will be doing is that I will be, let's Let's first understand what we have we are getting from this. So here we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I multiply the string of star with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we can actually get this particular pattern, which is of left side, 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, 4 star, 5 star. And for this right side of stars of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stars, we need to write another i here. So by writing this another i, we can actually generate this right side values of 1, 2, 3, 4 stars by multiplying this i value with star. So in middle, if you carefully observe here, we have spaces, right? We have to generate the spaces also. If you don't generate the spaces, we don't get the actual pattern. So if you carefully observe the logic for the spaces, if we have totally 10 positions here, here we have 10 positions because we have given 5. So 5 into 2 which is of 10 positions on each row you can observe 10 positions here so here you can able to observe clearly he, we have 10 stars in this row like that in every row we have 10 positions on each row these patterns of stars will be incrementing so like this the patterns incrementing on the similar way these spaces are decrementing if you can able to observe clearly here so now the logic for these spaces here is that when we have 10 positions, uh, this i is there, right? So this rows value into 2 multi uh, uh, subtraction with this uh, position of i, we can actually generate these spaces. So now we will try to generate that. So now what I will be doing is that I am taking this value 2 here and I am multiplying this 2 with how many number of rows that we are having rows minus this particular position i. So by mentioning this, we can actually generate this particular spaces here. So this 2 is multiplied with this whole pattern of rows minus i. So if I execute this, you can able to see. So I need to put a space here. So now you can see the result as 8 spaces and 6, 4, 3, 2, 6, uh, 4, 2, 0. Like this, we can actually generate all of these spaces per middle of this uh, pattern of stars. So now what we will be doing is that we will simply replace these uh, values with these uh, patterns of stars and spaces. For i, initially I will replace this with spaces uh, with star and multiply the star with whatever the i value that I am getting. So later I will concatenate this value with spaces, right? So later we have spaces here. So because I am get, I am putting spaces here. Now I will multiply this whole thing with this particular spaces. So later we also having this particular stars at the end, the right side, right? 
So for that reason, I will put one more star here and multiply this star with actual value of i. So if we execute this particular thing, we can actually generate this pattern for above. So now what we will do is that we will generate pattern for this below pattern. So now let us go ahead and generate for that as well. So for that, I will be using one more for loop. Here I am using the variable j here. Now I will generate a range of values from rows till 1 till 0 and on each iteration I want to decrement with minus 1. So like this we can actually generate the range of values. So now we will see what values we have generated. So if I execute this I can able to see the values of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So like that we can actually generate and in a similar way what we have mentioned previously initially we have mentioned i later we have mentioned the spaces and at last we have mentioned i here like that in a similar way we will be printing this as well first we need stars right so for that reason i am mentioning star here and i am multiplying this star with j that is what we need to do to get these patterns right so in the left uh, in the left side so later i will concatenate this particular stars with spaces so because we have spaces right so now the logic for this spaces in middle is the similar logic that what we have got in the upward pattern. So for that reason I will mention the same logic what we have got in up right. So I will mention rows minus j here because we are dealing with the j variable right. So later what I will be doing is that I will concatenate this particular spaces with stars and multiply this star with value j. So now if I execute this, so I we can able to get the similar result, similar pattern, but not exactly the same pattern. Here, if you observe carefully, here we have two rows with 10 stars, but actually we have only one row with 10 stars. So for that, we need to write something to change this uh, to getting two uh, rows repeatedly to get only one star. So here, in this second for loop, we are starting with 5 value, right? So instead of starting with 5 value, if we start with 4 value, we can actually eliminate this row, right? So let us go ahead and do that. So I am mentioning rows minus 1. By mentioning rows minus 1, we can actually start with value 4 and go up to value 1. That is what I am doing here. So if I execute this, I can able to get the exact result that what we have expected in above. So now what I will be doing is that I will take input dynamically from the user. So based on the user input, we will print this kind of a pattern. So I want integer. So because of that reason, I am mentioning int. I am take input variable. So I am asking user to enter any number. So if I ask like this, if I execute this, it was asking to enter any number. I am giving 5. So that I can able to get the same result. So now I will give some other number. Let's say I am giving let's say 10. So if I execute this, I can able to get the exact result that what we have expected pattern, right? So if I give one more value which is of 3, so I can able to get the result of similar pattern. So like this, with this logic, we can generate any uh, any pattern. Uh, we can generate this pattern by any input given by the user. I hope you have understood this logic to generate this pattern. So in the next video, we will be discussing the pattern this and the logic to generate this particular pattern. So if you have any logic to generate this pattern, comment your solution in the comment section that is more appreciated. Anyway, we will discuss the logic for this pattern in our next video. So to stay updated, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications to all so that whenever I upload any video, you will get the notification. And if you found this video interesting and if you understood this logic to generate this pattern, hit the like button and thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.